Hello guys, what you're about to watch now is one free lesson of my course about file uploads in Laravel. And here I'm talking about FilePon JavaScript library to make your input for the file upload with a better user experience. So it would look something like this. So you would upload the file, it's showing uploading, percentage, and upload complete. So how to implement that with Laravel along with Spotty Media Library, it's all in this video. If you want to purchase full course, go to laraveldaily.teachable.com. At the time of shooting this video, that file upload course is not published yet. Maybe it will be by the time this video airs on YouTube. But even if it's not published, you can purchase yearly membership, which will give you all current 14 courses and all the upcoming courses for a year ahead. Now let's take a look at the video and file upload with FilePond. Now let's make our file upload input more user friendly with a better user experience. For example, with a package called FilePond. Let's see how it works. So if you browse and upload something, it uploads and shows upload complete. And then you can fill in the rest of the form. Here's the homepage of FilePond. It has over 10,000 stars on GitHub. And probably the most important thing why I've chosen this package over something like DropZone or others, it's framework agnostic and it's easy to install. So I will show you a demo without any jQuery or Vue.js or React or anything, just plain JavaScript. But at the same time, there are adapters for all those frameworks I've mentioned. So currently we have input type file with the name avatar and it looks simply like this. Now let's transform it into FilePond. Installation is very simple. I will choose from CDN. So we need to add this CSS to the header. And what is our header? In register blade, it extends guest layout, which is actually guest blade in Laravel Breeze. In your case, it may be a different parent layout, but you need to paste here somewhere in parent layout and then JS before the body, somewhere here. Okay, we installed FilePond. Now let's initialize our input field. And this is pretty simple. You have script, which you put somewhere below on your blade file. So in this case, we will have a section called scripts and section paste here. And in the main guest blade, we will have yield scripts section for any JavaScript. And then let's make it not input type file, but input ID avatar and assign ID avatar here. And that's it. Let's refresh the page refresh and we have this simple file pond area but it wouldn't work yet it just looks good on the front end but it wouldn't upload file anywhere you need to understand what happens when so when initializing file upload you need to specify the server api endpoint api url where file pond would temporarily store that file so that file will be stored before all the form is submitted and then after it's submitted, we will update the file and store it where it actually belongs. So for now, we just copy this into our register blade here at the bottom. Set options. And for now, let's store server to upload or slash upload. So this will be our URL to post all the files for any upload for any file of the project. And if we try to do that now, so we refresh the page, we browse something, and actually let's open developer console. So I will show you network and browse and upload something. It will show an error because upload is not found 404. In the console, you will see upload 404 not found because we haven't created it yet. But now you see the mechanism. It tries to upload the file immediately and we need to store it somewhere and then update after the form is submitted. It is explained really well in the section configure our server process. Here's the temporary file processing mechanism. So it uploads the file somewhere. We need to store that on the back end in some temporary unique location. So create a special folder, return that folder name or ID to the file pond. Then it is stored in hidden input field. And then we get that hidden field to the actual registration submit. And then we move that file wherever we need to. And on the back end for this, we will still use Spotty Media Library. So first, let's take care of the upload. So we need to create that server upload in our routes web. Let's create route post and it will be public upload. And let's create a separate controller for this. PHP artisan make controller upload controller. 
like this. Then we have upload controller class and the method let it be store. We don't need any name because we are calling that from JavaScript. And in the store method, public function store, let it be request. And in here, we just save it temporarily somewhere. Similarly, how we did with registered users controller here. So let's actually copy that part like this, uncomment. So if we have request has file avatar, you probably could do it more flexibly, like has file upload or something. But in this case, let's stick to avatars and we store as user ID. At this point, we don't have any user ID. So we need to generate folder name, somehow unique. For example, unique ID dash timestamp, which is now timestamp, something like this. And let's add folder here. And let's remove the thumbnails at this point and we don't need update and we need to return folder like this. Otherwise, let's return empty string because FilePond asks for a string, right? Now we will bump into another error and I will fix it in a minute. Let's refresh this, upload the file and in the console you will have 419. It's not 404 anymore. So the URL is found, but 419 means there is no CSRF token passed. So every post request in Laravel is automatically protected by CSRF and it is good. And how to pass that CSRF in the blade, we don't have add CSRF here, but in FilePond we can pass anything we want here with some structure. So server will be a structure of URL upload and then headers like this. And then we need one header X CSRF token with value CSRF token. So this is where we use Laravel, but we need to wrap it up in JavaScript variable. Now let's try again, refresh the page, upload again. And now, as you can see, upload complete network and the return is 200 and the response is the folder name. Now, if we navigate to that folder name, which is storage app public, because I'm using public disk here, then avatars, then TMP. And among my previous tests that I've done before shooting this video, this is our last folder with actually file uploaded, but it's not registered in the database yet. So how we will find out? what is the file name and how to pass it. So in our actually register user controller in here, we will change add media from request to add media with full path name and then to media collection. So full path name in our case is storage path app public avatars TMP. Let's move it to another line. So TMP slash folder name which will be request avatar, which will come as a hidden field, then slash, and then we'll need to have file name from somewhere. And it is not passed from the file pond, so we need to store it somewhere. And we can store it on the backend when uploading. So here, let's create a temporary files database table where we will store everything about temporary files, and we will use that database to then delete those temporary records. So let's do PHP artisan make model temporary file dash M for migration. And we will have only two fields in that database table. So temporary files, table, string, folder and table string file name. That's it. And whenever we use that file, we will delete the record from temporary files in the temporary file. Let's make both fillable file name and folder. like this. And then in our upload controller, let's have temporary file, create folder, folder, file name, file name. That's it. And then in our registered users controller, we ask for the temporary file with the request avatar folder name. So temporary file, equals temporary file where folder equals 
request avatar first and if we find that record only then we upload the media with Laravel media library by Spati we change the file name to temporary file file name let's close the sidebar so you would see everything so we need to associate the media then we need to remove that folder because the file will be moved automatically to the storage app public but the folder will not be deleted so storage path avatar we need to remove that folder and then we need to remove that temporary file record so temporary file delete and also in here we need to remove the validation rule for the avatar because it's not file anymore okay let's check if we haven't forgotten anything in upload oh of course the avatars it should be tmp i'm using avatars temporary folder here so it needs to be matched with here so now let's try to upload refresh our page browse upload let's see if we have new folder created in tmp and yes we do and now let's fake filler chrome extension to register and we are in with the new file uploaded now the temporary folder is not here anymore because we deleted it and then in the database temporary files should be empty yep it is empty refresh it is empty final thing we need to do here and i will probably leave that to you as a homework is a cleanup of a temporary files database table and files so you should have some kind of a script artisan command which would run probably hourly or something that would check what are the temporary files uploaded for example earlier than one hour or earlier than today which means they are totally not being used and then you delete the record and delete the file name.